Guys, the ants have finally moved, okay? Now, I cannot tell you how long I've been trying to get them to move. So, probably back in December, I removed this from here. Um, mainly because their water supply is pretty much gone. It's mainly just condensation in there. I don't know how they were still in there. I know harvester ants don't require as much like humidity as other species, but they were just sticking in there. The other thing is, they are under quite a bright window, and so I thought, okay, this is going to move them. It didn't, until today. Literally, so I probably took that off in December, and now it's February, so you definitely have to be patient. I did attach this over here. Um, originally, it was the seeds, and I don't know if they really know that the seeds have been moved, um, they seem to collect them now and just put them in their tube, which is annoying because I don't get how they don't know that's just there. But anyway, I moved this here, I covered it up, um, and they were at first putting in all their rubbish, which is obviously frustrating. Um, but they have moved to date. Now one problem with this, as you may be able to see right here, there seems to be some algae growing in here. I swear if someone says, right, they're dead after this, I'll be like, I give up. They finally move in just when I want to clean out the water bit, but that is that. Hopefully it's okay. Um, it's going to have to be. So, if we look here, I don't know how close we can get in here, but there's a few. And I think what they're doing is they're just picking up the scraps and moving them. The main brood have been moved. The queen, they are still moving around to this day. They literally just move her back and forth all the time. I did have a thought the other day, right? I don't think it would happen now, but I thought maybe a little while after death, they may be able to harvest some eggs from her. And maybe that's what they were carrying her, but to this day they still do it, and there's no way she could be producing any eggs, obviously, she's dead. Um, but what I will do is I'll move this back. I want to do it carefully off camera because obviously I don't want to disturb them. Some of these you can see their seed supplies, the workers going back and forth, but the bulk of them are in there. And I think you'll be surprised how many workers we actually still have. Now one thing I didn't do over winter, I didn't cool them down. And I know with ants you're kind of meant to. Um, it's more, it's like hibernation, but it's just like so they're more dormant. Um, but obviously, I don't really know what the future holds with this colony because they don't have a queen. I want to introduce a new queen. Um, some people say that's a good idea, some people say that's a bad idea. Now, I will ask for your opinion, but please only answer if you have done this yourself and you have a lot of experience with ants, whether you think I should just start a separate colony with the new queen or I should introduce them. I have heard that if you call the workers down, then introduce the queen, it can go down quite well, but I really value the opinion of people who have done this multiple times, they know what they're doing, um, because obviously it's quite a big deal. I'm going to get her in from Ant's Kingdom, so she's coming from the Netherlands, <laughs> so you know, it's quite a big deal. But I'll quickly move this and show you what the workers look like. Now thankfully they're quite used to being exposed to light so they're not too disturbed by me pulling that back. But you can see they've got seeds in there, they've got quite a bit brood still going to this day. The worker size vary, it's quite interesting with harvester ants because you do get a variety of workers, some fairly small, some pretty hefty. I believe there are three or four different size groups you can get with harvester ants and I believe I have all three. That big black bit right in the back is either a hefty worker or part of the queen. Um, but as you can see, they're doing quite well. That's why I don't really want to give up on this colony. Now, of course, workers will die off. It's just natural. And we do have a few dead. Only a couple, really, which is quite surprising. Um, so I'll get them out, and um, we'll have a closer look at them. So as you can see, this is a worker. Not too much there. I think this is one of the heftier workers. It's um, a fairly big one. In comparison to my hand, it's quite big as well, um, especially compared to the Lassius Niger workers that I had. Um, but it's, it's pretty cool to see up close. But back here, as you can see, there is actually a worker out in the outworld. 
I put in this little rope thing. I think you might have seen in the tank, uh, the tank season TLC, that video. I also did the ants and I put this in. They seem to be using it fairly well. They've taken a lot of the seeds. So this is all good. If you guys are wondering what happened to the Lassie's Nigers, okay, I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, I haven't seen them. I think I put that on the dead ant. I'm sorry, dead ant. I will remove you. I haven't seen them in ages. So they seem to be i saw workers now and again and then one evening this is quite a few months ago and i think i mentioned this in a video this thing came off when this tank was on my floor um and that's when i saw quite a few workers they probably escaped um the only good thing that was growing in here was this which i think is baby tears and springtails other than that i haven't seen any workers we can kind of conclude they probably cease to exist now. Um, they were known as my Schrodinger ants, but um, I'm pretty sure they're dead. Or they're just very, very shy. <laughs> but I will have to empty this soon, probably, or I'll just have a look around for the ants, but I honestly don't think they're here anymore. So I hope you've liked this little update. Hopefully by the next update, I will have a new queen. So remember, if you have had experience with this, if you have introduced queens before, especially if you've worked with harvester ants before, let me know. Should I start a brand new colony or should I introduce her? And if I do introduce her, do you have any tips? Should I call them down? What should I do? Um, as I mentioned before, I didn't call them down for winter, although this room does get fairly cold. Um, just because I don't really know the future of these and they seem to be doing fine. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.